The Denali Star is Alaska Railroad's premier passenger train during the summer months. Thousands of sightseers every year board the train for a journey through the Alaska wilderness. We will start in Anchorage and follow the train on its 356 mile long journey to Fairbanks, stopping at Talkeetna and Denali National Park. Early on a gray morning in mid-June, we begin our day at the Alaska Railroad Yard in Anchorage, Alaska. An MP-15DC locomotive is moving about the yard as it shunts cars between the boat docks and other parts of the yard. Not only does the Alaska Railroad have a thriving tourist business, it is also a major hauler of freight. It is not uncommon to see long trains of petroleum roll by such as this one as it heads southbound through the yard. Over at the passenger depot, the Denali Star has finished boarding passengers as it begins its northbound journey to Fairbanks. Denali Star is the railroad's premier passenger train. During the summer months, it runs once daily in each direction between Anchorage and Fairbanks, a distance of 358 miles. Along the way, the train will make stops at Wasilla, Tokitna, and Denali National Park. In addition to their own passenger business, Alaska Railroad also hauls passengers from several of the major cruise lines. The second half of the train is comprised entirely of double-deck passenger cars owned by Royal Caribbean and Holland America. Princess Cruise Lines also owns several double-deck passenger cars that are hauled regularly by the Denali Star. Wasilla is a flag stop for the train. When there are no passengers to pick up, the train passes through the station without stopping.
Denali Star comes to a stop so that passengers can disembark and board. Many people come here to go on a white water rafting adventure. While the train is in the station, we move to the old Takitna Depot, which is just a mile or so up the line. The train continues through the Alaskan wilderness after leaving the little town of Takitna. The next stop is Denali National Park. Early in the afternoon, the train pulls into its namesake station, Denali. Denali, or the High One, was the native Alaskan name for the mountain that is now known as Mount McKinley, a name that it has held since the turn of the last century. In recognition of the peak's original name, the national park was given the name Denali. With an elevation of 20,237 feet, Denali is the tallest peak in North America. The name high one seems to fit the mountain quite well. Many passengers will the train here for a stopover at the park, which is arguably one of Alaska's biggest tourist attractions. Once the boarding has finished, the engineer whistles off and the train continues toward its next and final stop in Fairbanks, still about five hours down the line.
cloud cover and freshly moistened ground greet the train as it rolls into the depot in Fairbanks, the end of the line of the northernmost railroad in North America. All passengers will detrain here. The train will wait overnight in Fairbanks before returning to Anchorage the next day. Fairbanks has a draw for tourists all its own with many different attractions including a gold mine, a riverboat, Pioneer Park, and all sorts of wildlife. With clouds still lingering from the day before, SD-70 Mack Locomotive 4321 leads the southbound Denali Star, leaving the town of Fairbanks behind as it begins the full day's journey back to Anchorage.
the Denali Star pulls into Anchorage as another successful journey on the Alaska Railroad draws to a close. From here, most passengers will travel to their hotels in Anchorage. Others will venture to the Anchorage airport for a flight home. But, for the hardworking men and women that keep this railroad going, it's just the end of another day on the Alaska Railroad.